All right, guys, let's um do update on Euro USD and um GPB USD. So this is the potential Quasimodo reversal and I analyzed in my last video on, on my YouTube. If you haven't watched that video, you better check it out. All right, so I predicted that, okay, we are expecting the market to come down to this potential Quasimodo, daily Quasimodo reversal, all right? And also based on market structure, uh, from this point to this point here, characteristic of a downtrend from the H4 to this point. So it is not the right time for us to start buying. We want to see the breach of the Dow theory before we can start buying, right? And then the market respected with the uh, help of NFP no respected the potential Quasimodo on daily. And then uh, the market um, um, shoots up bullish, right? So let's go back to the H4 time frame. So uh, like I said, you have to learn a lesson also based on uh, from that video, first video of uh, first analysis on Euro USD. Uh, um, the last video on uh, on analysis on Euro USD and GPB uh, USD. Like I said, that since the market is coming, where the market is coming to from the daily is coming down to the daily quasim, potential quasimodo reversal, the market is giving a characteristics of a downtrend, which we were looking for, uh, you guys were looking for selling opportunity and then the market got to the daily potential Quasimodo where we are expecting that the market will tend to change. This is where we want to see uh, the breach of the Dow theory, mini setup from H4, H1, then we start buying, all right? And then that day we spotted, that day I did that video, we spotted uh, Quasimodo, I mean, not Quasimodo reverse, I spotted a blind spot here. And then I said this is a blind spot. But then if you if you spot if you find a blind spot on the on the H4 time frame, you don't have to go ahead and take the trade. For those of you who are quick to react in the market, oh blind spot here, you take me on without even considering confirmation or the procedures, right? And then the market phase will begin to question why most people uh, send me messages on WhatsApp. Uh, Telegram, why uh, did this set of fee, this set of fee, why? Uh, no, you have to follow the procedures, right? Don't be too focused on the setup. Follow the principles of the strategy. Okay, so I, I said that when this is actually a blind spot, ideally, if the market continue to push and then come back, we are going to buy, but then we cannot buy this blind spot without a confirmation. So since this blind spot is happening, on the H4 time frame and the blind spot, the market also rejecting coming from the potential Quasimodo on daily. If the daily candle closed as a bullish and govern, then we are going to use that daily candle as confirmation for us to buy this uh, H4 blind spot. And I said that the reason why we have to wait for that daily to close to be used as confirmation because that daily can end up to become a shooting star or a hammer. And that is exactly what happened. Let's go back to daily and show you guys for the purpose of learning. The reason why I'm taking time to explain this is for you to learn, not just for me to uh, uh, predict the market and, and validate myself. Oh, I know this concept. It's for you guys to learn, all right? So um, look at the daily candle. Look at that daily candle here. Where this is the daily candle. And I said, if this daily candle close as a bullish engulfing is going to be used as a confirmation to, to that blind spot, right? But those people that they don't know how to trade Bastra concept and they saw that blind spot, they don't even bother, they won't even bother to, to look for, uh, to wait for other criteria to be met before taking that trade out. Oh, the setup does not work. It failed, it failed. It failed without knowing the reason why that setup failed. So because they don't consider on most of the things they have to, right? That is why, we don't have to judge a live candle because the, this daily candle was pushing to this extent, right? Believing that it's going to close as a bullish and govern. But since the candle has not closed, we cannot consider that candle to be a confirmation. Also, um, this is applicable to all time frame. If you find the same setup on, on let's say, M15 time frame, and the candle that was supposed to use or supposed to be considered as confirmation from M30H1 has no clues, then you don't have to uh, consider taking that trade. You have to wait for confirmation, right? So you just have to learn from this um, video, learn from if 
learn from the past video, past analysis, and then come back and see what happened. And that day, the market closed. The market closed. Later, that daily candle later closed as a shooting star, or is it a shooting star, or whatever, but this is not a bullish engulfing. And that is why the blind spot did not hold. Look at that blind spot. It did not hold, right? Let's go back to H4. The blind spot will not be able, like the blind spot fail worldly. In fact, the market even shoot up down because there was no reason for you to buy because you see the blind spot has no confirmation because remember, all our setup has confirmation. It is a confirmation that gives you confidence. It is a confirmation that makes the setup to play out, if not 90%, uh, 85% of the time. All right, so this is what you need to do. Be a patient to see who all the criteria met before you take your shot as a sharpshooter, right? So now, the NFP news came and uh, NFP news was able to make the, uh, the market move faster in respect to the daily Quasimodo uh, reversal. But let's look at the market today based on one, uh, what the NFP has done. The NFP has said to breach the Dow theory. Look at when the market was coming. Uh, when the market was coming down to the daily Quasimodo, started giving a characteristic of a downtrend. And then the market, uh, the Dow theory has been disrespected, which means the last high, the last high here taken, this one taken. So what are we going to be expecting, guys? We are going to be continuing to look for what? It is time now to confidently start looking for buying opportunity. We are going to wait for a retracement and then we buy, all right? So then let's go uh, to the daily time frame. Let's see something on the daily. So on the daily, I can see there is a beautiful uh, blind spot here. So I'm going to put my line here. There is a beautiful blind spot here. And uh, let's go to uh, H4. Okay. Let's mark that point already. So I'm going to mark it. So let's go to the wiggly. Okay. The markup is on the body candle. So let's go to the H4. So now I'm going to reduce this one, guys. Okay. Let me go back. This is um no. So now this is the point I'm waiting for the market. So we want the market to retrace back to this point here. Then we can start uh, looking for buying opportunity. So what is going to happen if the market is going to drop from this point to this point, the market is going to be moving based on characteristics of a downtrend from M15. And then the market will get to this zone. So and M50, what are we going to wait for? We wait for any fantastic five again, Parsimodo, manipulation entry formula, or blind spot. If we see blind spot in the lower time frame, then we start buying uh Euro USD, right? So if the market comes here, we are going to monitor. But from the H4, we can also see that there is a Quasimodo as well below here. There's a Quasimodo below. Let me change to line chart. It's a Quasimodo below uh, here. So also at that Quasimodo, there also a blind spot right there at that point. So we may be looking for other market is going to respect the blind spot from the daily. Remember, this is a blind spot from the daily. Market is going to drop. I may not see market dropping all the way back to this point before shooting. So market may drop to this point. 
before we can. So it's, it's very simple. Once the market gets to this point here, you look for what? We look for confirmation entry on the M15 time frame. You take your trade without fear or favor, right? Confirmation, everything is intact. So there's every, um, the, all the criteria are complete for you to take the, uh, the, the market when it comes back to this point here. But when the market fails to buy from here, come back here, it is a plus to even go with crazy loss size to buy, right? Because the market is definitely going to respect the first zone. If the first zone fails, going to respect the second zone. But all we want to be doing from next week on Euro USD is to become buy buyers, right? Is to become buyers because the Dow theory has clearly breached from the H4 time frame. Excuse me, guys. After the market respects the daily Quasimodo reversal. So this is it. So I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to remove this one. So we'll keep an eye on this one. But know that there is uh, this zone. When you see the market breaching without giving you a confirmation entry to buy, do not be surprised. Expect market to get to this point. But our plan is the market to, we are baking price to drop back to this point here before we can continue the sell, right? Because we cannot, before we can continue the buy. Because as it is, we cannot jump, we cannot just jump on the buy and start buying. We want the market to come here because at this point it's a daily blind spot. The market come a little below is going to give us uh, our H4 Quasimodo reversal for us to buy Euro USD. So this is the update, guys. So now let's look at the uh, GPB USD as well. GPB USD. GPB USD. Okay. GPB USD. So like I said. Wherever you, um, most time this uh, pair, they move alike. Also, I'm going to show you the, the what I did not see on GPB USD. So each time you analyze and the market other goes different from where the way you analyze, always observe and see where you get it wrong so that you'll be able to improve on your analysis next time, right? There is no bad analysis anyway. So let's go to the daily time frame from the GPB USD. So GPP USD actually, I I failed to spot this Quasimodo below, and then also there is this um there is this Quasimodo there is this there is this one here. Uh, let me change uh SNRC one right. So this is where the the question comes in where you see SNRC one and then and um. Almost at the same point, SNRC1 is a continuation setup, and then you see a reversal setup almost together. Which one are you is going to be stronger? Remember, reversal is more stronger than continuation. Reversal is more stronger than what continuation. So SNRC1 is a reversal setup, and then SNR uh, Quasimodo is a continuation setup. I mean, what am I saying, guys? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, SNRC1 is a continuation setup. Why? Quasimodo reversal is a reversal setup. So reversal is more powerful than continuation. So the market failed to respect that uh, this one, this Quasimodo, uh, this Quasimodo uh, SNRC1, which is a continuation setup, and the market went back down to react from the daily quas a potential Quasimodo reversal, right? In this case, Although uh, from the daily, from the H4, you wouldn't have, you know, taken any trade because no sign of the breach of the Dow theory yet. Yeah? The market was obviously uh, in a downtrend. So no need for uh, to say, oh, I buy and the market kicked me out because there was no reason at all to buy, right? So now we, we have to do away with this one, we have to do away with this. So let's go to the weekly time frame. So from the weekly time frame, you see um, this is also a confirmation. This is a confirmation. This full body candle is a confirmation, right? And also based on market structure wise, this is impulse, this is correction, impulse, correction, and then we are expecting another impulsive move back or bullish uh, in respect to Fantastic Five, all right? So let's get back to the daily time frame. So this is what... Um, this is why the market could not respect um, 
the continuation setup, which is a scenario so one. The market is currently reacting from Quasimodo uh, reversal from the daily. So let's go to the H4 time frame. Remember, um, I said before that Euro USD and GPP USD move alike, and Euro USD is their leader. Wherever Euro USD is going, they follow suit, right? But most time they move alike, almost the same. But most time the other one will first be in a downtrend or will first be in an uptrend before the follow, uh, the next one will follow, right? But if um each of them is a if a GPP if a Euro USD is in a downtrend, definitely. GPB USD more also be in a downtrend. If they, they are uptrend, they will also be the other one will also be in an uptrend. So the doubt area has already been breached from Euro USD. And then we are waiting now that the market is reacting here. What are we waiting for? We are waiting for the breach of the doubt theory on this guy, either from H1 time frame, right? We can see it from the H1 time frame. Let's go to the H1. Yeah, we can see it from the H1 time frame. Let me. So from the H1 time frame, we can also see here. So something like market trying to breach, right? Something like this. So um, based on the the H1, this is the last lower high before the market drop. And then we are seeing that that um, that the market trying to breach, right? But let's go to the H4 to see if we can have confirmation. So for me, I want to be sure of the market to take out this guy. I want the market to actually take out this guy before coming back, right? To take out this point here. So, but let's go to the H1 time frame. Uh, what am I expecting to see on H1? Okay. Maybe I want the market to take out this point here coming back to this point here before our we can confidently buy euro i mean gpb usd but we are expecting the breach of the doubt theory coming next week so that we can start looking for buying potential opportunities so this is the update guys uh if you enjoyed this update make sure you leave a comment in the comment section hit the like button if you haven't subscribed um hit the subscribe button and share my video all right thank you guys for watching i believe you learn i know uh you have you are knowledgeable in bus track concept but definitely uh this video is going to benefit you for you to improve on your own analysis so uh thank you guys for watching i will catch you in the next one peace guys